Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3D.com. In this episode, we're going to be doing a little bit of unboxing here. So I'm always searching for the Valhalla of uh, tablet holders for the Spark. And I just got this one, and I think this was like around 17 bucks. And you would know it, it is taped shut, and I don't have the knife here, so we're going to cheat. Putty knife works, right? Sure it does. So uh, I'm going to pop this out of the box. And... Here's what's in the box. And also here's what's in the box. I was a little bit reticent of giving this one a shot and because of the uh, the plastic ball, but I noticed a lot of them had plastic balls. So I figured uh, we'll, give, we'll give this one a shot. I don't think that opens. I still think I got to scissor it. So we're gonna scissor this open and see what we got. And uh, so this is plastic, not metal. Uh, it had looked like metal in the picture, but this is definitely plastic. And so what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. And I believe this is going to slide in here like this. Uh, let's see. No instructions in the box, but it does look like it goes the other way around if we look at the box. Now it says Mavic on there, but uh, they also advertise it for Spark, and since the fingers on this are basically the same, I think it should work. So, so far that's that's uh, got an okay feel. The one thing I would like is if it had um, something to go come in the sides that really locked it in. I noticed some guys on their 3D printed models put... Uh, uh, like protrusions in here so it really locks it in now in the grips it does hold it so I'm not overly concerned about that and I think we're gonna have to loosen this up and then pop this on so we just pop that on like that no big deal now this is supposed to be an upgraded version and we'll see how upgraded it is because I think this is supposed to go up to a 10 inch tablet because what's supposed to happen is the grips in here are supposed to be sort of interlocked with fingers and it does seem to be that way because this does cinch down rather rather nice because I don't know if you can see it but there's like fingers here that keep it from from moving but now let's see oh that does get pretty tight let's let's I got this on here pretty darn tight. Tighter than I thought. So now this this only tips this far back. So if you want to tip it further back, you have to tip it with this. Now there's some kind of doodad mount. Oh, so it has another mount to extend it up or down. I'm not sure why you'd really want to go up. That's all already seems to be pretty high. And seems to be that's where I guess if you held it like that uh, but now if I take my Galaxy 5 it won't it won't fit in this would fit in this orientation but I gotta say I don't think this goes up and no it doesn't if I look at the instructions again I am just going all back assward today so it goes this way but it still doesn't tip it anymore uh, it just allows for the cable to pass through the bottom. So you could have the phone in this type of orientation. And so this is just spring-loaded like this. So you, so it's uh, not kind of a clip-pull situation. So you'd have to pull it something like that. And I got the phone back as we're too. Ah, oh, Norbert, I tell you, buddy. All right. So that's kind of like that. That's not bad. Not much, you know, that you could do for a sun shield on it, but it, it would hold that. Um, then let's see about... Whoops. Back asward again. Something about today. The moon. It must be the moon or something. So here's my iPhone 5S. So that also works in that orientation. I'm sure what you could probably do is also spin it sort of like this if you want it to go in that orientation also. Um, so yeah, that sort of does work, I guess, if you go like that. Now let's uh, let's see about getting a little bit bigger. So here is my um, 
trying to figure which way this goes, my tab. So it doesn't obviously go far enough that way, so this would have to turn this way for it to go. And sure enough, not surprisingly, it fits. It also tips over easy. Now, I'm going to have to tighten this down a little bit more for the bigger tablet, which it is tightening down, so that's good. So it does give plenty of room between your hands and the um, uh, tablet. So it does bring it a lot closer. I don't know if that's going to be a good or bad thing. That might be with my eyes a good thing. So let's now go and try the iPad. So now this is an older iPad, but it'll work for demonstration purposes, I think. So, and sure enough, but I tell you, I tell you, when you get to the iPad, and this is where I'm not sure how folks really do do this with the iPad. I've tried flying with the iPad, and it's a nice screen, but boy, this sure is top heavy. And again, this isn't the Air. This is my older three. I just kind of wanted to use it for a size format, but uh, that is a little bit heavy. So again, I think if I go back to my tab three, um, this is a better, far better weight combo. Now I'm still not knowing if I'd like it that far up. That's all, you know, because it's kind of a long balance. And that ball piece, as I'm seeing, I'm not sure how much I like that. Because I got that basically, eh, no I don't, I can cinch it a little bit more, but um, definitely makes it a little bit top heavy. So let's put this in here again. Um, I'm going to have to try this out in the field. The the hand, the, the feel of my hands down here on the controls and everything is good because it's not cramped because it's so far up. Now this might actually be good from the aspect of, um, you know, especially if I put some sort of guard above this sunshield and being close because I have to wear glasses. I am blind within 21 inches of my face. So the closer it is, actually a bit of the a bit better it is because my reading glasses it'll make it easier to see. I don't know how the glare will be. So this is getting it up, you know, a good probably six inches closer uh, to me while allowing me to keep my hands at a comfortable height. So yeah, it's going to reboot in two seconds. Um, but anyways, I think this is pretty cool. Um, again, it requires you to kind of tip it up a little bit more because this is tipped back this piece is tipped back all the way um, but I, I don't see a reason you could not flip this around even though it shows it the other way let's just for grins and giggles do that and put this in here and then instead can we take this up like this and then tip this back like this doesn't well the thing is it doesn't tip if we put it in this orientation again it still stops it from tipping back far and far enough so we really have to tip it up at an unnatural angle here which is uncomfortable on your wrists wrists to see it so it really does can only go the one way I must be pushing on the power button because it's getting particular about uh, restarting yeah I'm pushing on the power button. And that's always the problem with these tablets is staying away from the power button. So I think with this one though, I could probably put the power button right there, but I don't know if it's now pressing on the volume button. Um, that's always interesting. So I'm going to put this back in this way. And... Let's see... And again, I'm going to have to loosen this back up to bring it back a little bit. Alright, now what's the top secret password? But, I'm going to have to give this a try in the field. I, I, think, I, I think I could probably like this. Um, it, it definitely holds as I'm gyrating it around. The tablet's not moving anywhere. I would say probably for a smaller tablet's okay. 
I'm going to say this one's going to probably have a difficult time. It might handle the air okay, but um, I, I definitely didn't like the weight on that. It was a lot because this ball mount's holding it. So iPad mini, smaller 7-inch tablet, I think big thumbs up. I think a 10-inch tablet, while it will hold it, I think it's too much weight for this type of, of mount. I would actually almost like to see for a 10-inch tablet to have two of these struts attached, you know, here and here offset, holding it, because that's a lot of weight to be. But again, for this, yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. So I'm going to give this a shot. I'll, you'll see it out in the field, and I'll, I'll make some comments in some future flight videos about how I'm liking it. Um, and that probably goes with most of the th things you see me uh, unbox and do kind of a bench review on. I'll let you guys know in the flights and sort of do a vlog on how I like the various pieces. So hopefully you found this interesting. Um, this is uh, Skyreet Mavic Pro Tablet Stents. I don't know. Anyways, that's what it is. I'll have the link below. Don't worry about it. If you want to get one, pick it up. Uh, if not, let me know what you're liking for a tablet holder, too. Maybe I'll get one in and review it on the channel. Um, see what I think of it and let you guys know. Because that's part of why I do these things, so you guys can kind of see what it's like before you go out and spend the money. So, anyway, speaking of spending money, spend a little bit of that collateral and hit the subscribe button over there. Let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. The Italian place up the street is sounding pretty good today, but, ah, eh, man, the carbs in those skeddies. Anyways. Cheers. We'll see you in the next video.